guys, you're about to be famous on YouTube. <laughs> this is the guy with the car that inspired the first cut on Eleanor's roof. Hey, welcome back everybody. I'm here with Eric Fernand. This is the guy with the car that inspired the first cut on Eleanor's roof. I copied his chop top as much as I could. Of course, took my own little twist on it. <laughs> but nonetheless, he's the one who pioneered that method of the Fernand chop. And this car right here is the one that I based so much of my design on. And I am so appreciative here to meet Eric Fernand for the first time in my life ever here in Fort Lauderdale. And you put this wonderful cruise together for me today. And don't mind me guys, I've actually been drinking a little bit, so <laughs> I'm actually starting to feel it right this second. <laughs> but it seems like every time I turn around, somebody hands me a margarita or a beer, and I'm about four in, so, <laughs> so don't mind me. Think back to the Fernand Shop, the uh -huh. name of the Fernand Shop, yeah, yeah. that's what it's called. Uh, I did not it name is it. called the Fernand Shop? I did not name it that. Okay. Uh, when we were on the Volkswagen.com site, uh -huh. I initially started doing a step-by-step -step instructions of how to actually do this shop. Gotcha, gotcha. Uh, when I got to the part where on that site you, can actually, you can't reply to the form. You actually have to go on another part of the form and actually do the reply. Uh -huh, right. So I remember I was, that actually. Oh, yeah, That's yeah, how I found you. It was on Volksrods.com, yeah, guys. Volksrods Check it out. I'll put the link down below to follow his post. You guys can see. You guys have asked me how I did my roof chop. This is how. So going back to the story, uh, 
we had two patients make an oath form for that. Uh -huh. so I was actually doing this, and a lot of people had questions. So someone actually made a form called Form and Chop. That's how it got it. Huh? Yeah, so I had nothing to do with it because believe me, I'm not vain at all. <laughs> uh, but no, that's how the name came about, and uh, it's just been called that ever since then. That so, actually works out wonderful. It's wonderful. Hello, ladies, you're about to be famous on YouTube. <laughs> Now we're talking. Yeah, we're talking. That's Never mind, Nam. <laughs> nice. Look at this. Very nice. Get it, get it, get it, get it. It's not a Volkswagen thing with a beautiful girl. You huh? gotta add a beautiful Always girl. <laughs> get ready. One, two. Put your elbows around your backs, girls. Come on. Three. All right. Three. Now we're talking. All right, everybody say hangover. Yeah, just move in, no problem. <laughs> Look, your dress is hot and the owner of the bus is going to give you some room. That's all right, she don't need that. We're not driving. I don't care. I don't care. If it's easy, I'm not wait, worried wait. about One, two. Here, I got to take a picture. Oh my God. Such lovely smiles. What you think, oh, bud? Yeah. Well, how do you like Florida now? Oh, I live in Florida. I'm from Jersey. <laughs> You're from Jersey? Yeah. Where are you from in Jersey? Flemington. Flemington, okay, I'm from Paramus. How about yeah. that? What about Paramus? Paramus. <laughs> I forgot I'm on this side of the state where all the Yankees are. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> there you go. Wait, go ahead, pull them out. Do, that over. One, ahead. Two, do, it, do it for you two. All right, mommy. <laughs> <laughs> well, say who you are. We'll give you a shout out on YouTube. Hey, La La Lion. Hey, La La Lion. Do you have an Instagram? Hey, La La Lion. And it's your Instagram's K Lala Lion. What's my handle? Your handle will find you on there. I'll tell everybody to subscribe and follow you. K Lala Lion. I'm oh. in search of a small <laughs> van. Uh -huh. Like probably a sprinter. I'm trying to make a sprinter, but like with like tiny shower, tiny toilet. Oh, you're gonna cruise around the I'm country, are you? I'm my 19 year old cat around me. She's 19. I got around 10 years old. She's an old lady baby. I need to take her everywhere with me in the entire world because she deserves to see the world. I agree. I agree. I had an 18 year old duck, so I can relate. She's 19 years old. My own. That's other so kitty sweet. was 21 when I had to put her down last year. Oh, that's sad. RIP Tiger. I love you. But I'm a 21 year old now, and she, or 19 year old now. She wants to see the world. Wow. I think I could take her. You should. You should. Show her the life. Take her around. I had one of those, but I sold it. I'm gonna get a sprinter. Yeah? This one is just a little old thing. You're gonna camp in it, huh? I'm gonna live in it. And as I said, so many of my ideas that I had, when I saw this car, um, it was up about 10 years ago. I think you've been doing it longer than that, but it was about, about 10 years ago. I mean, I was still involved with a relationship and I bought her a Carmen Ghia and then I bought the 73 Beetle for myself and I was getting ready to cut that thing up, but it was in too good a shape. <laughs> and then one day, a 56 Oval popped up on Craigslist. And it was way too much money. Way too much money. <laughs> but I went ahead and talked to the guy and he liked me and we worked out a really good deal. So, I remember reading about your, your chop, watching it, the, the progress just unfold in front of me. It's it, about weekly updates, I guess it was, about once a week. Yeah. You put up there so many different photos, and you got close angles of how you slim the pillars out so the pieces match together. And the thing that got me most of all is you retained the accurate beetle dome shape. That is the part, one of the parts, that makes a roof chop on a beetle work. The other thing was, and you mentioned it earlier, the quarter window. Yeah. You got to get that rear corner in the quarter window. Yeah, that is actually the chop right there. If, if you, well, you got to get the dome too. It's flat, it don't look right. Unless you want a flat roof, then you should just make it flat. <laughs> but you got to have that proper bubble 
And you gotta have that quarter window right. If it looks like a kidney bean or a cinder block, yeah. you did it wrong. Yeah. <laughs> it's gotta have that stock shape. It's gotta come to the point on the one end and have the two corners on the other end at 90 degrees, roughly 90 degrees. And that will give you the proper chop. And this is the only chop that I've seen that uses one roof to do the entire procedure with a slight modification to that back window and it just made everything work and the car is just it's beautiful <laughs> and they tell you you shouldn't meet your heroes in person because you're just you're not ever going to be satisfied and you're gonna no i am just <laughs> i'm just overjoyed to see you in this car i mean i'm geeking out here i'm geeking out i'm total fanboy total fanboy <laughs> like i said i've been following this car for 10 years and this is is what inspired that first cut i knew i wanted a roof chop but there was nothing out there the capella chops and everything else you cut the roof into six pieces spread the pieces out and then fill in the gaps and you end up with a beetle that looks like a yeah, he's squash that's not yeah and it just it doesn't look right this one has that proper dome and it's the only one that i've ever seen like that and based on how you chopped it the way you slid the roof forwards was really that 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 trick bring the entire roof bring it forwards. Yeah, the whole thing got dropped forward and stretched out in the front. <clears throat> Basically, the pillar was actually a relief cut up here and uh -huh. stretched out and cut down here and pulled back into it. So that's the way that the... Basically, you're going like this and bring it back right. in. Brought that all then together. This back here was cut and pulled forward. And this is that... Okay, we're going to pop that in so you actually see. This is that shape we're talking about right there. That's that corner. That that's what makes everything. the actual chop just means everything as well as that dome shape if you alter this dome shape in any way you make it too long you make it too flat you alter the shape of it just in the back I've seen so many people that they cut the roof from here yes and this also retains the original glass too yes which is something that's kind of nice because getting original glass is impossible <laughs> well, you can't cut them yeah yeah they curve you can't cut them at but there's all. actually only one place in the country that I found with the actual 62 glass uh-huh and I actually ordered it and we popped it right back in so fantastic and just like mine my oval I retain that that stock oval shape I did not change yeah. anything in the back here at all but so many people they cut right through here and then they dump the roof down and then the well you no longer have the louvers you now have your your punched right. holes but this contour doesn't match and just go smoothly with the glass and through the, the roof it's just you get this step yeah that awkward looking step well you need a step here and then you need a step right here because they usually band it right there right and split it at the center right right so you, you get, get that weird couple flat, of flat spot. spots in them. right right and the biggest thing when we went to do this chop and by the way my brother-in-law Stephen Hawkins is the evil metal genius evil metal genius he is yes, evil he metal is. genius he I remember is, seeing that a lot he's the welder I am the grinder <laughs> <laughs> uh, he uh, he is an engineer, so everything to him was just a, a, a hey, we can let's see if we can make this work. <laughs> and I came up with more crazy ideas, and he said, "Yep, let's see if we can make this work." And just this is the uh, outcome of it. Uh, you can see it was rounded over the tops of the doors. Right. Uh, this door is actually cut apart four times. They think the gap's perfect on this thing. Uh huh. Very, very familiar. With this. Been there. Uh, yep. And you actually see <laughs> it closes like a Cadillac. Oh man! I mean, they keep closed beautifully. I mean, you the gaps around this thing are perfect. And if you, Coming back here, the gaps on that thing when it opens up, you could fit, you know, a sheet of paper through there. <laughs> the tolerance is really tight. Just, this car is just fantastic. Uh, I can pop the front of it open for you. Oh, he's going to give us a tour of the inside. Check this out, guys. races is bro whatever comes along you got to take bro the good Volkswagen the ugly Volkswagen the rat Volkswagen whatever comes along the fat one the skinny one
Cuba. Do you? Yes. What is it? Uh, Eric Rossier. Uh huh. I have like 10 subscribers. 10 subscribers? Oh. No content. Well, good. You're about to get a few hundred more. Oh, because I mean, you look absolutely lovely. Thank you. We came from the boat. All right. Okay, so. so we're going to find you on YouTube. We're going to tell people to follow you up there. Follow absolutely. <laughs> I love the band Fish. Fish? I love the group of them. Hi <laughs> guys, thanks for showing us. Later, I'll see you soon. Thank you. Nice. Hey, hey. They all want to be famous. <laughs> so, here we are, hanging out. My buddy, my buddy, my brother. It's the Duckman series. What we do here is we like to find really cool cars. And we like to find really cool people and we combine them all in one place. It just happens. It's not something nostalgic. It's not something we plan on. It just happens. And what we do is we find really cool beer and really cool people and we put them all together in one cool place. And it's 2020. People are worried about riots, everything else, politics. Nah, bro. It's what we do. Cool things, cool happenings, cool people every day. Always, Duckman, 2020, what's up? <laughs> Thanks so much. Glad to be out here, glad to have a good time with you guys. You guys are awesome. Cheers. And this whole front beat is all hand built. None of this existed before because we actually took this and pulled the beam forward 10 and a half inches. Uh, it's a full tube chassis on here, rack pinion steering. What's and that it, from? Uh, they use them in, uh, probably use them between dragsters and sand rails. A sand rail box, okay. Yeah. Yeah, and this is a, an older one, so uh -huh. it's got a one and a half, uh, I think it's one and a half the turn on it, so it's real tight. That's why you said when we're yeah, driving, yeah. You, you can see how tight the driving right. is. Right, you barely is. touch that yeah, wheel it's and like it's, driving, it's, it's a giant go-kart is what it is. <laughs> it might be pretty close. Um, what are the uh, headlights from? Uh, they're from a 1930s dump truck. A dump truck? <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> I saw the tag on them, but I never looked that closely. Well, the thing with them, they're BLCs. Uh, Later on, they became guide. Uh -huh. In the 40s and 50s, they became guide. Uh, these things were Swiss cheese when we got them. There, were, there was nothing left of these things. Uh -huh. And once again, my brother-in-law brought them back to life. You guys rebuilt them. And we found a guy who actually repopped the rings for us. And if you look at this tag right here, there's actually a guy in the hand that actually hand built this tag, and there's actually hand stamping the original numbers in it. Oh wow! So it's a perfect record. Rep rep you know, everything on here is like an original thing again. I saw the tag on them, so I had to ask, you know, what was the significance of it? Yeah, they're even hand stamped, so it's, it, it, I'm kind of like OCD. <laughs> uh, well, let's, uh, let's go around the back and tell me about the engine. Sure, sure. Okay. What size is this engine? From uh, it's a 1641. Uh, basically, it's the biggest we can make in my garage because I don't have a shop to blow it, so. Right. We looked it up and said it's 1641, it's the biggest we have to make it because we had punched in our blocks, so we said, okay, that's the size we're going to go with. Uh, it's got dual 40 millimeter cadrons on it, uh -huh. uh, open headers, uh, larger sump on it. Uh, 
when you this four wheel disc brakes, mm -hmm. the drill drillers, which you saw before, were actually heard before. <laughs> yeah, the drill drillers actually make a little bit of a buzzing sound. Yeah, it sounds uh, like a transformer at night. <laughs> yeah, it's just wow. Yeah, it the holes actually give it a little sound, song to it. So. I can't even simulate it. It's, yeah. it's almost electronic sounding. It's it's. Uh, I thought it was a, a girl's voice at first when yeah. you're moving at speed and you're on it. <laughs> yeah, it plays a little song for you. So. Yeah, it does. It, uh, it hum, that's for sure. And that license plate is really close to the ground. You have any mishaps yeah. there yet? No, no, no. Not you lose it yet? No. Is the gas station parking lot or anything? No, the front is where I have issues with. The front it. hits, huh? The front's a little low. <laughs> well, uh, what part of the front hits? Is it right about the... Uh, uh, where the beam comes together. The, the lower lip on the beam. Where the beam attaches to the... Um, yeah, the, the bulkhead there. The bulkhead, okay. Yeah, so right the up pointy, there. The pointy That's the, the low spot there. I take. Yeah. There's two little tabs down there, and, and if you're not careful, you will catch something. Gotcha, gotcha. That's pretty much the same on a lower beetle anyway. But yeah, The way yeah. you've got the uh, extender, it goes up. Yeah, because you actually come back so and it pivots back up. So it dumps the bottom yeah. down even lower. So how, how big of a clearance would you say you got? Uh, maybe an inch. About an inch. <laughs> and that's without me sitting in it, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah this, this car was actually built around me. Uh, as I explained earlier, it's like we actually sat, my, well, actually I sat down and said, okay, this is how I sit and drive. Let's build everything around that. And it's there's that's why there's no windows. And it's just it was built around me. <laughs> that's totally relatable because I did exactly the same thing. Yeah. I built the car to the specs that I wanted it to be. I put a seat in it the way I wanted it, raised it up, lowered it down, backed it up as far yeah, as it would go. Back, yeah. And as you know, I'm like just yeah, you're, you're big. Totally taller than you just <laughs> yeah, I'm like big. <laughs> so my seat actually backs up all the way to the back seat touches it yeah and that's my comfortable sitting position yeah it goes all the way back and my eyes are right in the middle of the, the uh, windshield it's just it's amazing seeing this car in the flesh really it is and and uh, I, I am just overwhelmed <laughs> that you took me in as a friend too oh, hey, once hey. I talk to you here as you can see uh, everyone here you met today uh, we're all kind of just you know we love driving VWs and hanging out and doing VW stuff so that's what we do. <laughs> and that was great. I mean, you organized this with your friends. You got them all together. They all wanted to come see me. I, yeah, oh, I still yeah, yeah. can't believe that. I mean, yeah, came you, out to you're see... kind of famous, you know. Yeah, kind of. I mean, not even. The girl with the blue hair is a lot more famous well. than I am. <laughs> Everybody's been asking for B. She's not here today. <laughs> oh, sorry, am I walking in the shot? Yeah, you're walking in the shot. My you're going to be famous. There you I go. didn't mean to. There you are. <laughs> but this is the car that inspired that first cut on Eleanor. And that... Uh, the Fernand Shop, that's the official name. The Fernand yeah, Shop. Yeah. The Fernand Shop, the first the one to cut it the way he did. World uh, Real quickly, what was that magic cut in the rear quarter there that you did that made okay, it so yeah. different from everybody else? Yeah, and actually one of the things that most people, going back to the original chop we're talking about, yeah, yeah. they actually widened the roof. Right. Well, what we did, since we actually had the roof is not narrower, we actually pulled the body in. So we actually trimmed up to here, uh -huh. and then pulled the body into it, welded it all in, and then it cut out the excess material here. So if you have a look from the back profile of this, the actual back of the car actually slides in. So it's, it's a little trick that we did, it's just manipulating metal. What I noticed no fenders, too, you can get away with a lot of things. What I noticed too is that, that V that you cut through here that went all the way down to the deck lid area. Right. Which I've never seen anybody else do that in the roof shop before. And one of the other things, we actually have a W deck lid for this. Uh -huh. I just, it's so much fun to learn without it. <laughs> I mean, I'll take it away for you. Yeah, well, yeah, everybody wants it. Uh, but no, everybody wants it. I'll buy you a beer. Yeah. Uh, but I, I, I have it so I can put the demi lid down there, but I actually just like putting it this way. I remember that too. I forget yeah, what you did to attach license, it. The license plate had the, the drag chute. Is that what it was? It. Okay. Yeah. Roll the whole dash and sort of molds right into it. Uh, glove box trim on both sides just to give it a little nice you know, touch to it. Right, right. Uh, Black Mamba shifter. The can't really see it's kind of hard, but that's even that's drilled out too. Uh, the steering wheel is all drilled. The columns all drilled, gun drilled. Um, you see the door cards are all you know the holes everywhere. It goes you with the holy theme. And you oh, see up uh, top there too. <laughs> Check out that headliner, guys. All metal. What's it made from? Another roof. Another <laughs> so it actually does roof. take two roofs to do this. <laughs> Was that the uh, the red beetle roof that you had? No, actually, I found a guy down in Miami who had just had a roof out there and. Went down and picked it up and kind of showed him what I was going to do to him. And he's like, yeah, go ahead for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the body we actually uh, found this up in uh, Melbourne and paid 140 dollars for the body. Uh huh. And we figured, you know, we always want to do a chop. And for 140 bucks, if we screwed up, we're only out of 440 bucks. <laughs> 
That's the way I felt, except, of course, I bought an oval, and it was more than that. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was in much worse shape, but it was more. It wasn't a whole lot more, but it was more than that. Oh yeah, well, yeah that thing's not enough to see it. We got too much stuff back here. Come on. This is one of the details people won't ever see. Oh yes, I remember when you built that. Um, it's all metal. <laughs> it's your battery cutoff too, isn't it? Yeah. You'll see something at least from one open. What else we got on this? That's a unique feature. Uh, kind of hard to see here, but the body lines are actually all taken away. Ah, uh, yes, there's normally a line that goes through here. That was one of the things I told Earl, my, my final body man, um, make sure he retains them and keep it at the same level. It doesn't line up with the door like it's No, it doesn't, to, yeah. yeah. Uh, you see up in here, you can dimple die up in place you'll never see. Yeah, I don't know if I see that too. Yeah. Oh, yes, I see the holes in it, but I don't know if the camera does. Maybe, ah, there it is. <laughs> Fantastic. No one ever sees that. I saw it. <laughs> and one of the other things that you do about the car is we actually hid all the wiring on it. Oh, nice. Uh, usually the fuse panels back here. Yeah, as a matter of fact. It's actually underneath the back seat. Oh. And everything's running throughout the head of, headline of the car. If you walk around this car, you can't find any wires on it. Except for this one little loom right here is the only place I can't hide. <laughs> Everything else is hidden. Nothing else that had to be there. Huh? And if you notice that the dash, there's no buttons or nothing on the dash itself. That's very, very true. Yeah, it's pretty pretty naked all, except for the uh, chrome all, trim and the cage. All the gates are all down there. Yeah, everything's hidden down below. Okay, and getting a little dark. Yeah. So I think we're going to wrap up this video. Oh, look at that. And just one thing. Now you can go to work hold, with hold a steering wheel and be totally, whoa. Yeah. <laughs> it's not plastic? Yeah, it's very, very light. <laughs> what is it made from? Aluminum? Uh, aluminum, yeah. It's for uh, sprint car racing. That's incredibly light. <laughs> that Wow, that's, that's impressive. Yeah, it, it's, yeah it, it kind of freaks people out when I hand it to them. Did, did you drill it or did... No, did, actually did I bought it that way, way. yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, Joe, Joe's Racing, it, Joe's Racing, it's for sprint car racing, but it's called Joe's Racing. Wow, total, total weight savings there. I mean, yeah, it's, it's one, ounce you one, one thing we actually bought, so... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the steering wheel and the seats were actually bought, everything else is built. <laughs> Well, let's wrap it up. I think we're out of exposure. The camera doesn't yep, get yep. any brighter than what we're seeing. Oh, wait. Yes, it does. Oh, look at that. <laughs> now we're all <laughs> now green. see you. Now we can do the whole video over again. Yeah. <laughs> I want to hang out with the Florida kids. That's it. Well, thank you so much, Eric. I'm going to give you a left thank hand. You. Yep, yep. Thank you. <laughs> it's good to see you. And thank you so much for organizing the shindig here for all these people to come out and to cruise with us today and to, to get to meet me. Um, I don't know what else to say. I've, I've never experienced anything like this before. And I just had a, a just a blast, just an absolute blast. blast here. This is great. I mean, 24-hour notice, and we managed to pull together this party, and uh, it's just awesome. That's what we do here. It's just <laughs> awesome. <laughs> so the next time I'm in the South Florida area, I'm definitely going to have to reach out to you definitely and uh, see if we're going to do something. And when Eleanor gets down this way, yes. she needs a picture <laughs> next to the car that inspired it all. <laughs> As you can see here, the evil twins are here. That's right. This one's also a furniture shop. Done by somebody else though, right? Yes, yes. Yeah, somebody else did the work on it. Also a good looking car. Yeah, much more aggressive cut. Uh, not quite um, leaning over like Eleanor is. They chopped it down in the back a bit more and dumped it all down. But uh, also an awesome ride and fast as hell. You guys will see that in this video. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was You're awesome. You're the beast. <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> but about two hours in the garage and we could put that engine in there. Oh, not even. Well, with all of us here, it won't take that long at all. 20 minutes. We, 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 we hold these things before. Do it while he's sitting right here. See if he notices. Oh, yeah. <laughs> my sharp take off. <laughs> Thanks, Eric. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming out here. Thank Don't you. forget, everybody, licky, likey, comment, subscribe. Eric has his own YouTube channel as well. He's also got an Instagram. I'm going to tell you guys to follow him and licky like him. You'll find those links down below in the video description. Thanks so much, Eric, once again. Appreciate Thank you. you.